Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Ryan and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. In this video guys, let's have a look at this created stage V2 soundbar 2.1 channel. There's the sub over there. This is a budget model. Check the links below. And then guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. First guys, let's start with a quick unboxing and then we put it to the test. Let's go. guys so here we have it big box creative stage v2 we can see already a few specs over here clear dialogue surround 160 watts peak powerful bass bluetooth 5.0 hdmi arc you can connect it using the optical cable as well usb audio and can be mounted on the wall Okay, so this is basically everything that comes in the box. We have the sound bar itself, the sub, two power leads, you got this 3.5 mil cable, user manual, and, and, and the standard remote control. It has this look-alike brush aluminium finish, of course this is all plastic, and you need to supply your own AAA batteries. On the remote there's a button for the bass and the treble, dialogue, surround, yeah, not much to it. Okay guys, so let's have a look at the soundbar itself. He has this piano shiny finish at the top, the mesh on the front, this is metal. At the bottom we can see this rubber feet on both sides. And of course on the front you got the creative logo there. Let's have a look on the back. So on the back you have the USB port, in this case USB Type-C, the HDMI ARC uh, AUX port, 3.5mm, and on the other side you have the optical port and the port for the sub itself. Here is the power in, on the back there's the mounts for the wall, and on this side you have the minus plus button, the power button and the Bluetooth button as well. Looking now at the sub, you got the creative logo there at the top. And on this side you have this fabric mesh. And nothing else, this will plug into the sound bar. And that's basically it. Alright guys, so let's plug this. Let's see what the sound bar is all about. Okay guys, so here we are in the living room. The sound bar is now plugged in to the TV using the optical cable. I put the sub there so you guys can see. We're going to do our tests and we're going to talk about the specs alongside. As you guys can tell, compact in size. And of course guys, this is a budget unit. Costs around 100 pounds. Of course, 2.1 for this one. And in terms of power, 160 watts. 80 RMS in total will be 20 per speaker on the soundbar plus 40 for the sub. This is RMS watts. In regards to the speaker itself, those two on the soundbar 2.25 inch and the one on the sub 5.25. Yeah, if you're looking to improve your TV audio without spending a fortune, maybe this is a product for you. Let's start with Netflix. Let's play some movies. You'll wake up in a new century. I'm going to turn the dialogue planet. off. It's the ultimate geographical suicide. Well, I could ask you the same thing. Okay, on but again. it's my interview. Were you running away from something? No. Everything was okay. engaged to him. Depending on the situation, you don't notice much difference, at least in my opinion, between the surround on or off. We're gonna need a bigger slingshot. I'll sit in the Hollywood Hills when you're gone. But I haven't been a full-time stuntman for a while now. And Ghosts have one power, above all others, to haunt the living.
Let's now do a quick comparison between the sound produced from the TV with the sound from the sound bar. So um, now let's start with the sound bar. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but the difference is huge. All right, so next step, let's play some music from our phone directly to the soundbar itself. And for that, just let's put it in Bluetooth mode. You'll see a blue light there on the soundbar. Oh. And we are playing straight away. In terms of sound itself, the sound from the Bluetooth I notice is much much louder than the sound from the TV, even if you use the HDMI ARC connection or the optical cable, they are both not as loud to the one coming from the phone itself. Let me now try to get close to the soundbar, hopefully you guys can tell the quality. There's one speaker there. And another one there. Hey guys, in terms of the sub itself, I think it will be good if you had a bit more punch. I know that some of the subs you can control the bass, but not on this one very straightforward you can control the bass using the remote control you have a dedicated button for that just press there push the bass up but yeah it would be nice to be a bit more aggressive in terms of bass in my opinion yeah but overall the sound is good i know when using the optical cable is not as loud as using the bluetooth for example but the sound is there the quality is there as well which is important in terms of frequency response, it goes from 55 to 22,000 hertz. Okay, so let's wrap the video. If you're looking to improve your TV sound with something not too expensive, this soundbar might be for you. 2.1 channel, 160 watts. The base, the base it's all right, it's powerful enough. It would be nice to have a controller on the sub to give it a bit more power, but overall I think the base is there. In terms of quality, it's good. The surround, you can feel a little bit, not much. Of course, you only have two drivers there, 2.25 inch each. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna leave a link down below. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. And please guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for your support. Like always guys, thank you very much for watching and hope I can see you all in the next one.